Hi everyone, Dr. Saul here in Beverly Hills, wishing everyone a great 4th of July. We have our follow-up patient here a year out from her tummy tuck and some lipo contouring. She's in her mid-40s, has two kids. This was her a year ago. You could see the excess skin drooping all around. You could see the width of her abdomen, abdomen compared to her hips. And here she is a year out of her surgery. Look at the contouring. Look at how she has this concavity, the fullness on the abdomen. Look at how flat she is. She has nothing leaning over. Look at the pictures from before. Look at her now. Her scar healed beautifully. You could see her incision here very nicely. And look at her belly button. It looks very, very natural. A little bit of a hooding, which abdomens have. Here she is from the side. Look at how beautiful she looks. And here she is all around. How much weight have you lost? Uh, about eight pounds. Eight pounds. So you can see that it's not necessarily the amount of pounds you lose, but the excess skin is gone. And how do you feel? I feel like a woman. <laughs> I feel like a girl again. You always are a woman. <laughs> but how, does it, how do you feel in your clothes? How is it like? How, I feel beautiful. You feel beautiful? I, be, I feel like myself. I feel like me again. That's that's such like great words to hear mm -hmm. that you feel it's all about self esteem. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you did it for yourself. Myself, I did it for myself. And you you're more confident. Mm -hmm. Much more confident, especially in bathing suits. Forties, mother of two, and look at how confident and the smile on her face. That tells you how life-changing this was. It was yeah. kind of life-changing. It was absolutely life-changing and one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. Really. Honestly. 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 I am very happy and I even talked to other people into looking into it and pursuing it because they were just so impressed with the change with me. And in, in your whole attitude with towards... My attitude towards myself and my body and how I was more comfortable expressing myself. So... It's days like this again that make me that rejuvenate me and give me the energy to go on when I see, when I see that I've actually made a positive influence in someone's life. I mean, I see her smile and the words that are coming out of her mouth, mouth and the confidence she has. Honestly, it's very moving. Thank you for sharing your story with everyone at home because I'm sure there are other females that might be thinking about it on the fence. On the fence. Mm -hmm. How was the whole surgery and the afterward? It's it's a long process. You have to be patient with the process. You have to be patient with yourself, and you have to be patient with the healing process. If you've ever had kids, it's like giving giving birth again because your body changes so dynamically. But you just you're patient with the process, and you keep reminding yourself that every single step is one day closer to becoming who you want to become yeah. when you look at yourself in the mirror. So it's it's just you have to just. Trust the process and trust your doctor. Trust what they say. Trust what they say when you come in that things are improving, progress is being made, um, and just you know, just follow through. And it, it is about a year long process. It's how was how email, text, in whatever form? I was always able to get somebody if I needed to reschedule. It was always accessible. You worked with me in my schedule, which was huge. And, and the, the the key thing she said is patience. It wasn't an overnight thing. It took a while, mm -hmm. but we got to the finish line. Mm -hmm. And what really was helpful was that your nurses told me that before I went through that step. I took that step. They said, it's going to take about a year. You have to be patient with yourself. And uh, them being mothers themselves and I being a mother, we understood what that meant. Now, the biggest question is, now that you've gone through it, would you do it again? Absolutely. I would do it again if I had to do it again. I would do it again, but I don't have to do it again. Of course not. <laughs> you look fantastic. You but, look. But now I'm confident that I can physically go through this successfully. That I'm strong enough to go through something this dynamic. That if I wanted to do other things, I'm not as frightened to oh. speak up and ask questions and yeah. to to say, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? Those things that we think that sometimes we don't say. Yeah. I, I hope we made you comfortable and mm -hmm. you always come and ask us questions or whatever, mm -hmm. but you healed fantastically. You followed our regimen, whatever we discussed, you were a good patient and the results speak for itself. Is this what you were expecting? This when was better than actually what I was expecting. I didn't expect any contour. 
I'll be honest with you. I did not have that anticipation because I was had been in that other my other body and seen how it changed so dramatically. And I had just thought, well, as long as I just, you know, look okay in clothes, but to actually have contour again, like I did when I was young and dancing all the time, how that was kind of, that was exciting when I saw it developing in the mirror. That that's, was really exciting. That's fantastic. Them. And how do you fit in your clothes? How is it when you go clothes shopping and everything? Oh, I, I like it now again. <laughs> I went through a period of really not liking it for a long time. Like emotionally, it was really distraught. Like I was emotional and I just stopped for the longest time buying myself anything. And and, and in the last six months, I've like kind of teetered back into the nicer sections of stores and started buying things for myself again. And it's nice. Um, that's so good to hear. Mm -hmm. And we're so happy for you. We gave you the result you wanted, the confidence you exude, and the the way you talk about your self esteem. Mm -hmm. It really it's it's magnificent, and I and I'm so glad I could be part of your journey. And I'm so glad that you were my doctor, and I want to say thank you to you because you're the one who made the magic happen. So thank uh, you. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing, everyone. Everyone, that's a great story. Uh, it could be you. If you're having problems, you look, when you go through childbirth, you have birth and you give, you know, kids to the world and you do everything, there comes a point where you want to feel back to where you were before kids, rejuvenate yourself, the second stage of life and everything. Sometimes it's needed. Sometimes it becomes your turn mm -hmm. and you give so much to the family and you need to, you know, come back and treat yourself to something. And this is a perfect example. I wish you guys could see how big she's smiling and how much she's laughing. Thank you again for sharing with everyone at home.